engine anti-ice protection for the inlet guide vanes, nose dome, and PT2 probe is provided by 8th stage bleed air. The left and right inlet anti-ice valves on each engine control 8th stage bleed air flow. Either valve is capable of supplying adequate inlet anti-icing. Cowl anti-ice protection for the number 1 and 3 engines is provided by 13th stage bleed air. A cowl valve controls 13th stage bleed air flow to the engine cowl lip. The number 2 engine cowl and S-duct anti-ice protection is provided by 6th and 13th stage bleed air. Two cowl valves control the larger volume of bleed air flow to the engine cowl lip and S-duct. Cross engine transfer of the 6th, 8th, and 13th stage bleed air is not available. Engine anti-ice should be used during all ground and flight operations when icing conditions exist or are anticipated. The minimum engine RPM for flight operations in icing conditions is 55% N1 and 70% N1 in moderate or severe icing. Continuous ignition must be on prior to turning engine anti-ice on or off. When engine operation stabilizes and flight conditions permit, continuous ignition may be turned off. Engine anti-ice is controlled by the engine anti-ice switches. The engine anti-ice valve position lights function as switch valve agreement lights. The anti-ice valve position light selector determines which valves are verified by the valve position lights. In the off position, the valve position lights are not powered. Prior to the first flight of the day, the engine anti-ice switches and valves are confirmed closed. With the engine anti-ice switches in the closed position, rotating the selector to the left position illuminates the valve position lights. This confirms the left engine anti-ice valves are in agreement with the switch positions. Rotating the selector to cowl and right also illuminates the valve position lights. This confirms the respective cowl and right inlet valves are in agreement with the switch positions. When engine anti-ice is required, with continuous ignition on and the selector in left, moving the engine anti-ice switches to open, momentarily extinguishes the valve position lights while the valves are in transit. When the left valves fully open, the position lights illuminate. The cowl and right inlet valves are confirmed open by selecting the respective position and observing the valve position lights. The selector should remain in right as a reminder that engine anti-ice is in use. When engine anti-ice is no longer required, with continuous ignition on, and the selector in right, moving the engine anti-ice switches to close momentarily extinguishes the valve position lights while the valves are in transit. When the valves fully close, the position lights illuminate. The cowl and left inlet valves are confirmed closed by selecting the respective position and observing the valve position lights. After all valves are confirmed closed, the selector is moved to off, which removes power from the valve position lights. The number two engine cowl and S-duct temperature is monitored using the anti-ice duct temperature selector and indicator. The location of the temperature sensor is shown schematically on the control panel. 
Should an excessive temperature occur in the number two engine cowl lip and S-duct, the anti-ice duct overheat light illuminates. The duct overheat light operates independently of the duct temperature selector. The failure of an engine anti-ice valve to open or close is indicated when a valve position light fails to illuminate. For example, a left inlet valve fail closed on engine number one is shown here. Observe the valve position light is extinguished, which indicates the valve is not in agreement with the engine anti-ice switch. In this example, one or both of the engine number two cowl valves has failed open.